Unless they do like four hour live streams of them. Alright, anyway. Which I probably won't do. Just because that would mess up my video release schedule on YouTube. So if I ever get to a point where I'm doing Twitch every day. Which I kind of would like to. Just because... If I do that... Then maybe I maybe I could turn Twitch into my thing instead of YouTube, since you know the whole YouTube platform is just like dying. Which I knew when they started forcing the plus on it, it was going to be a bad idea for them. I can't honestly say that I expected it to completely kill YouTube. For anyone that wasn't already established. But that is kind of what it did. I mean, not necessarily Ooh, even could come in handy. just Google Plus by itself. It's just everything else. And now. Oh, no, that's their own way. Darn it. Not a really big business plan. That is what I mean. Oh, come on. Like, these people go to school for management. And sometimes, a lot of times, actually, it don't seem like they know what the heck they're doing. I mean, literally, you still intend to keep your YouTube channel running there? Oh yeah, for sure. And nothing else that will have videos posted up from the live streams. Because, honestly, I don't know how to make Twitch save my live stream videos. So, to put them up on YouTube for people to catch up on anything that they missed, it's still a good idea, in general. It's just YouTube will probably never be the place where I make the money from. So then Twitch will probably be my main platform if and when I ever make money from either of them. I mean, I still probably won't make money from Twitch. And it's not about the money anyway. But if I ever get anything, then it Twitch. Twitch will be my main platform of content. It would just all also go on YouTube for people who miss and stuff. Twitch only keep them for about 30 days anyways. Uh, so it will give people a catch up like from one week to the next but like if, if they're really far behind they wouldn't be if, like months behind they wouldn't be able to catch up. Oh okay. It's like set that you catch it there then I guess. Oh, 
crap, I missed. Don't you have a link to donate to, like, most other streamers? I do not. I don't think I'm in Philly yet. yet. For one. For two, I don't have a Patreon. Ooh! Because I don't want to do a Patreon without having anything on a Patreon for people to even be paying to see, etc. And I, at this point in time, I don't have anything to put on Patreon. And I don't have a GoFundMe because I'm not in a spot where I need a GoFundMe. Our Mark gonna ask random people to pay for things that I don't need. I, I, I do not have a need to have, I do not have a need to have donations at this point in time for things Wait here. For, that back. people do without getting anything. Do you have a PayPal? Peeps can donate to that. I do have a PayPal. And I don't know. I don't feel right giving out my PayPal and expecting people to give me money through it. Yes, it would be a great big help. Yes, it would take away some of my stress if I had income coming in from just what I have. Because what I have right now really isn't enough to support myself. But I want, I want to try to get, I don't, I, I, I don't want to charge you guys if I don't have to. I don't know. I, I, I like doing my videos for free. I like that you guys don't have to pay to watch my videos. I don't want it to, to fall it to fall into this consumer-based thing where you guys have to pay to be out to, to find a little happiness in your day. I don't know. I'm conflicted about the whole sharing my PayPal with my viewers thing. Because on one end, I want it, it feels, I don't have a problem with people who share. I, I, I know Ariel shares hers, and I know other people share their, YouTubers share theirs. I just don't know if I want to. I'm conflicted. I donate to Ariel thing not sometimes. She's a little bit of support. I see where you're coming from there. Just to thank you, you show thank support. You later, Jack. And that would be... I'm not saying that if you did it that I wouldn't be appreciative. I would absolutely be appreciative. I... I don't know. I feel like I might end up getting myself into a point where I'm relying on money coming from that and I don't want that to ever happen. I, I don't like the idea that it could come to a point where I'm relying on donations out of the goodness of people's hearts to stay afloat. I know sometimes people need that and that that, that it's out of their control sometimes when that happens. I have a best friend who has that problem. And the hardest thing about moving on into myself on my own is going to be potentially not being able to provide that help when she needs it. That's one of the things I worry about a lot. 
is when I get to the point where I can be on my own, am I just going to be able to support myself? Or will I be able to have extra money to give to others when they need it, especially in terms of my friends? I, I like being able to do that. And not worrying that because I'm doing that, my next meal is going to be a carrot or something. Out next year. Yes, that is the plan. I still gotta sort things out to have exactly how that's going to work, but that is the plan. Do I have to do everything? At the moment, it's between Colum moving up to Columbus and moving to Spokane, Washington. I, I still gotta do some more research and pray about it, etc., etc. And figure out which one is best. Whoa. <laughs> ah! I jumped too soon. And when I do move, that's going to be. I'm going to have, to, I'm going to tell you now, I am not 100% certain at this moment in time whether or not I will have internet. I have to sort out what my finances are going to look like, whether I can afford to have internet. generally hope I do, not just for this, for other reasons as well. There, I have some friends like you that I can only talk to through the internet. And Ariel too. You, Ariel, um, I have a couple other, few other friends I want, I'm only able to talk to over the internet. If, and if I can't get internet, then I'm going to have to upgrade my phone to, so that I have better, um, minutes. I'd hate to completely lose contact with you. So would I. I'd hate that too. And if I do lose internet for a time, it's still going to just be a temporary issue. How long the issue will last, though, it's hard to know for sure. Would it last the whole time while I'm finishing up school? Would it last longer than that? Would it not last that long? There's a lot of unanswered questions to my future right now. My future is very uncertain. Because while I could just stay with mom and Rick and just help pay their bills, and I don't want to forever rely on them. And then re just rely on whenever I get married to after that. I know mom doesn't want that to happen to me. In part, in 
part of that is because they're retiring down in Florida in a few years. And I don't know whether I want to live in Florida or not. I mean, I'm more open to it now. But even if I do, I do still want to have my own place and support myself. In part because it get, I would have more personal freedom. I'd be able to have my own pet. I'd be able to say that I am supporting myself and that I'm not being a burden on people. I do a lot for my self-esteem. And it's not all just about the self-esteem issues that I have, but that would be a bonus with that. It would help my self-esteem be able to live on my own. And I itch in strange places. I couldn't do worse. Relax. I know what I'm doing. Oh, yuck! Cold, clammy, dead hands. Oh, I can't look. Look out, Doctor! You'll have to make sure there's an internet cafe in your place. Yeah. If, if I don't have internet, for sure. Kind of invisibility. So speaking of... If you moved that fast a long time ago, I'd still be wearing pants. I don't know if I've mentioned it in a stream yet you know or not. I really miss? Soft underpants. You know how it lifts and cradles? <sighs> there, I will be... You wouldn't understand. Or at least I'm planning to go to visit my sister for a week around Christmas time after the semester is over. And she does not have internet. So there will be a week where I am internetless. Oh no, I'm gonna miss! Except for when I am like out and about where it's somewhere where there's Wi-Fi that will work with my, on my phone. Or my computer. And we spend a certain amount of time there for the purpose of being on the internet. And not just for the purpose of hanging out. Where the heck did the other one go? It's just like... Lumped into oblivion. Where are you? It's gone. I bet it jumped down into the lava. It literally leapt into oblivion. Don't forget I want lots of pets of any pet pics of any pets you get. I will I'll I will make sure to take plenty of pics. Cause I'll be so happy to get my own pet. So I will tell you that when I'm all out on my own, I will not be getting a pet immediately because I will have to make sure that I can financially support that pet and myself. Like that I would be able to afford to pay for its food and the necessities that it needs, at the very least. And at least an, an initial vet visit. To make sure it's all healthy and stuff. And once I get through my vet tech training, I might be able to handle some vet general vet care. I should be able to handle the vet care just fine once I get through my training. Because then I'll be able to work at a vet and start small with hamster. I've had a hamster before. I want to start with a bunny. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I will end up starting with a hamster. It's hard to know for sure. Those spiders didn't stand a chance. We'll see. Hamsters are fairly expensive for the amount of time you get get with them. And some hamsters never bond with your, their owners. I want something I can cuddle with. I need something I can cuddle with, I should say, for the emotional support. Not all hamsters are cuddly. The hamster I had before hated being handled. And I did my best, man, to try to get that thing to like being handled she did she was not having it and 
not just walk out into the middle of this because if I do, those things will murder me. Excuse me. Ah! Okay. I think I know what I need to do. As I said though, they will murder me. They show no mercy. Wait. recent pick of my cat. Let's see here. That is adorable. That is one chill kitty. Feels absolutely safe and at home. That is a well taken care of cat. All those spiders, oh my god. Ow. Oh, oh come on. <clears throat> come on, that was not fair. That was absolutely not fair. So many ball gems. I was going to fail that at there for a moment. Alrighty. Making my way downtown. I don't know any other words to that song. I don't know why I'm singing it like a redneck. secrets are available before I continue on and talk to this guy. Blaster damage upgrade by rate of fire upgrade by fast movie, solo movies, fever, diaper, bad weather. Uh, 
All right, those are the only ones that are useful.